Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. All right, my first impressions of the Nike Wild Horse 5. This is the second video publishing today on the channel. If you missed my first impressions from this morning of the Nike Terra Kiger 5, go check it out, upper right-hand corner. I think you'll enjoy a lot of the footage in there. All right, here we go. My first impressions of this bad boy. And right off the bat, I'm gonna answer the question for you right now from the title of the vlog. Is the Wild Horse 5 more comfortable so far, just my first impression, than the Terra Kiger 5? A hundred percent. It's crazy. I'm a little shocked, to be frank. The Wild Horse 5 Upper is rocking my... It's rocking. And you know what it You know what it feels like? If you're a Hoka fan and you own the Carbon Rocket, it feels like the Hoka Carbon Rocket through that Upper. It's amazing. So far, so good for the Wild Horse 5 with respect to comfort. And let's talk about that drop. 8 millimeter. Thank you. Thank you, Nike. 28 millimeter stack height in the heel, 20 millimeter in the forefoot, so an 8 millimeter drop. Remember, the Terra Kiger 5 was about a 4, and I'm just like, eh, I'm, I'm really, really so far enjoying this 8 millimeter drop from heel to toe, the offset in the Wild Horse 5. And as far as weight goes, it lost. That's right, the Wild Horse 5 lost an entire ounce from the Wild Horse 4. That's impressive. An entire ounce in one iter iteration is, a, is good work, Nike. So mine is, my size is coming in at nine and a half ounces. And here is the grams. And we're gonna save talking about the midsole and the outsole for the full review. I will just mention about the upper. Again, incredibly comfortable. It's got that liner feel through the forefoot, just like I, I wish I could film it for you, but it's just got this nice liner through the forefoot just to help keep, help keep rocks out, uh, dust, and uh, but it's like so comfortable. But here we go. I'm really, I felt some good, um, basically protection and a little bit of stability through the upper because of this skin overlay. See that blue there on the on the upper? It's just this, this rubberized skin overlay and it helped. I felt like my toes were just a little more protected uh, going through the mud and the rocks today. So again, I like that feature. Keep it coming, Nike. Uh, that's a good, good work through the upper on the Wild Horse 5. And as far as fit goes, I went true to size and we're good. Fit like a glove. Totally, I'll just say it, totally different than the Terra Kiger 5 fit um, as far as my true to size. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna do a, a running shoe battle video between the Kiger 5 and the Wild Horse 5 soon. But um, basically, yeah, so good, uh, true to size for me in my seven and a half. And really my only drawback so far is uh, a little bit of slipping going on in that deep mud. That's to be expected in, in crazy mud. So I would say there's there's probably better options out there if you know you're gonna be running in deep mud a lot for training or a race. Uh, but you know, but what's nice is that this lug pattern and this lug depth could cross over to a more gravel based uh, trail system. Uh, today was, you know, we had mud or we had snow the other day. So it led it led to really muddy conditions. Uh, but if you have lugs that are like seven, eight, nine millimeter lug depth, I guess nine is a little high, but eight millimeter lug depth, uh, you know, that means those lugs, you might not be too comfortable taking that type of lug onto gravel based trails or really buffed out trails. So anyway, this could be a nice crossover between uh, buffed out trails and trails that have a little bit of mud, if you know what I mean. And moving on to that price point for the Wild Horse 5, $110. Good work, Nike. Keeping that price down close to that $100 range. I like it a lot. Um, and then as far, my final thoughts after my first impression, my first run, very comfortable ride, really comfortable, especially again through that upper. I felt um, I felt strong on the uphill, maybe not as aggressive as I'm usually used to, like a Solomon trail shoe, but um, I wasn't necessarily digging today, so I wouldn't I wouldn't use the Wild Horse Five if I was going out for like a hill a hill repeat session. Uh, this would be more your daily trainer on the trails, and uh, so. No major complaints other than, of course, that uh, that lug depth and the mud. Okay, question of the day for the, and again, horse is the key word. Question of the day, are you signed up for any trail races in 2019? If so, what trail race and what distance? I'll be really curious to hear, like, are you an ultra runner? 
Are you more of a, a vertical kilometer type runner uh, as far as trail races, or maybe you're gunning for like a half marathon trail race? Let us know down below in the comments. Are you signed up for a trail race in 2019? Who knows? Maybe you're looking for a trail racing shoe, and I hope I can help you find that right shoe. All right. Thanks for watching the first impression of the Wild Horse 5. And again, if you missed the Terra Kiger 5 first impression, go check it out. Upper right hand corner. There you have it. I will get you my full review after 50 miles in this bad boy. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for being here. Thank you for being here. Man, kind of excited. Kind of excited.